Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a very intriguing science fiction and thriller movie, called Old. The story begins with a family composed of Prisca, Guy, Trent, and Maddox, who are going on a tropical holiday at a paradise all island. The island seems perfect. The family is welcomed by the resort manager and then they are offered complimentary cocktails and the welcoming party for the guests. Trent also meets Idlib, one of the local boys who seems to know something secret about the island. At night, we discover that the family is not in a very good condition. Guy and Prisca want a divorce, making this a last family vacation with their kids. On the other hand, Prisca, unfortunately, also has been possessing a disease in her body for years. In the morning while having breakfast, the family is approached by the resort manager and is offered to visit a secluded beach on the nature preserve side of the island for a day where they can avoid crowds. Suddenly, Patricia, a mid-aged woman, suddenly collapses and starts having a seizure. His boyfriend, Jaron, is a nurse and a guy, Charles, who appears to be a doctor, immediately comes to help. The doctor and his family which consists of Crystal, Agnes, and Kara are also invited and the group finally arrive at the secluded beach's entrance and they have to walk a little bit to reach the place. Upon arrival at the main attraction of the beach, we can see that it has a very beautiful view, but is surrounded by steep stone wall which is quite frightening. The group then meet a mysterious traveler at the beach, Sedan who appears to be a famous rapper. While playing around, Maddox and Trent find rusted knives and abandoned toys, but Prisca tells them to go away and ignore them. Tragic strikes the group's vacation when a drowned body is discovered. The corpse turns out to be Sedan's missing girlfriend after went swimming before the group arrives. The group is confused by the incident and Charles accuses Sedan of being the killer of his own girlfriend. He is being accused because of his non-stop nose bleeding. A few moments later, Jaron and Patricia arrive at the beach and the group explains the situation to the couple. The group insists that they already want to get back to the resort. When Charles attempts to explore the cave, he suddenly feels dizzy and gets knocked out, indicating that they can't get back to the path they used to enter just now. After that, Charles's mom suddenly stops breathing and dies with no reason. Things become weirder as Prisca approaches Charles and states that something is wrong with her kids, begging him to check them. It turns out that Trent, Maddox, and Kara suddenly become significantly older, jumping about five years in a couple hours. Sedan tries to run away and is chased by Charles. But as soon as they enter the cave, they immediately faint and get thrown back to the beach. Because of that, the group now understands that there is no way to flee through the cave. The doctor randomly attacks Sedan with a knife, but magic happens as the wound immediately heals. Jaren suggests someone to swim against the currents until they can find another shore, but no one agrees to the plan as nobody wants to risk their life. Later, the group conducts a meeting to resolve the situation. Patricia suspects that the kids are reacting to viruses, that's why they are growing rapidly. Prisca and Guy reveal to the group that Prisca is possessing a benign tumor inside his belly. She explains that it is supposed to be about 3 centimeters, but Jaren says it's about a softball size. Prisca suddenly faints and Jaren discovers that the tumor keeps growing. We now understand that the beach not only affects their age, but their physical condition, especially the diseases, will also grow faster. Thus, in order to save her life, Charles will do the surgery. The group remembers that a wound will be instantly healed. After some time, they manage to pull out the tumor from her belly and Prisca manages to wake up. Then, Sedan takes a look at her girlfriend's corpse, only to find out that her body has totally decomposed in just only three hours, which usually occurs in a very long time. Jaren explains that hair and nails aren't growing so fast because the beach affects their cells and cells in hair and nails are dead. Sedan also reveals 60 minutes on that beach is equivalent to two years old. Thus, everybody will age almost 50 minutes in one day. Further tragedy occurs when Trent and Kara are having fun together at the tent which leads to Kara rapidly giving birth. But unfortunately, the baby has to die because of the beach's rapid aging effect. The situation is getting more tense when Charles's worsening schizophrenia causes him to kill Sedan brutally. Running out of time, Jaren says that he was on the swim team and desperately offers himself to swim across the sea, hoping to find help. Guy then realizes that they were intentionally chosen to go to the beach because each of them has a similarity, which is that all of them have medical records. Later on, while swimming, Maddox by accident finds Jaren's dead body, presumably dying because of drowning. On the other side, Kara hopelessly climbs the huge stone wall, hoping to find answers at the other side of the wall. But, she suddenly becomes unconscious and falls to her death. The tragic event continues as Patricia suddenly suffers epilepsy, causing her to die instantly. 
Priska and Guy start to suffer physical effects of the beach as she struggles to hear voices from her left ear and Guy starts to lose his sight. Crystal also dies because of hypocalcemia. Amid the group struggling to escape the beach, Maddox and Trent discover a notebook from the previous traveler. Trent also manages to spot a camera at the peak of the mountain, indicating that somebody is watching them all the time. Charles becomes completely crazy and attacks Priska and Guy, but Priska manages to pick up the rusted knife in the previous scene and stabs Charles, causing him to die because of tetanus. Until now, the remaining survivors are Priska, Guy, Trent, and Maddox. As the night winds down, an elderly Guy and Priska make amends before they breathe their last breath. With only the now adult Maddox and Trent in the next morning, Trent finally realizes that there was a message sent by Idlib which he hasn't read. The message indicates that there is an underwater coral passage. Believing that the coral passage will allow them to leave the beach without losing consciousness, they start to swim through the coral. Unfortunately, Maddox's dress gets stuck at a coral and they struggle to escape from water. After they fail to emerge from the water, a resort employee monitoring them reports that the entire group has died. It is revealed that the resort is being used by a research team from Warren Warren Pharmaceutical to conduct clinical trials of new medical drugs, who have been using their guests with medical conditions as unwitting test subjects. Since the beach naturally accelerates aging of the guests, the researchers have been able to complete drugs lifetime trials in just within a day. One of the researchers explains that they recently just managed to prevent epilepsy by giving medicine to Patricia during her arrival. Patricia, who suffered debilitating seizures her whole life, managed to avoid an epilepsy seizure for about 8 hours and 17 minutes at the beach, or equivalent for about 16 and a half years in the real world. After that incident, the manager starts to greet the new group of guests, but unexpectedly interrupted by the arrival of Trent and Maddox, who eventually survive their underwater swim. Using the notebook as evidence of several guests gone missing, the pair are able to bring the police to the resort. Once the researchers are arrested, Trent and Maddox head home to live with their aunt. The twist of this movie comes at the very end when it's revealed the resort is a front for the Warren Warren Pharmaceutical Company. The hotel manager is the head of a team of researchers who have been giving the guests with physical medical diagnoses cocktails that are actually experimental drugs. Priska, Charles, Patricia, and Sedan were chosen specifically because of their ailments. On the beach, the scientists could monitor their health and see how the drugs are working over time. The experiments themselves are relatively recent. However, with the group of people sent to the beach in the film labeled Trial 73. This indicates the 73rd time the tests have been conducted and, in the beach's unique aging effect, that's approximately over two months. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.